Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host, Pinky. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, and follow me on social media. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So if you clicked on this video, most likely you've heard about the Vogue Challenge and you're probably looking to figure out how to create your own. Personally, I was more interested in making an Ebony and Essence cover because, you know, we support Black Gone around here, but it's all the same. I have a little bit of experience with photoshopping and editing, so I thought I would take y'all along on the journey of me creating my own magazine covers. The first thing you want to do is Google the logo of the magazine that you want to use for your cover and use words like um, Essence Magazine logo, PNG download. You should come across some links that will take you to a free download and I'm about to click on this particular website and it was super easy for me to just download this logo. Now when I was searching for the Ebony logo, I just clicked on images and you find one that has like a checkerboard background and that's going to be the PNG type of um, a, a file that you need in order to make it look as realistic as possible and I chose two high quality crisp photos that I've taken of myself and that is going to be my cover photo so next you're going to go to a website called pixeler spelled just like that dot com and you're gonna you see those pictures right there I've already done this clearly but I'm going to show you how now you're going to click open image and you're going to choose a picture that is already downloaded to your computer. Open it and hit create new. As you can see, there are various options of ways you can edit your photos and this is all for free. And I'm just going to take this time to crop my picture to make it more of a portrait, you know, uh, make it look more like a magazine cover. And um, once I get the measurements where I want them to be, you know, I'm going to play with it a little bit and I'm just going to save that. And next I'm going to go to add image and this is where I'm going to add the logo. So I'm going to hit browse and I'm going to click on the ebony logo and add current. And I'm just going to visit position the logo where I want it to go, size it up, you know, make it fit, make it look as realistic as possible. I used um, some older uh, vintage ebony magazine covers as like a reference point to see how it used to look back in the day so I can like you know make it look a little realistic since this photo looks a little vintage and so I saw on some of the older photos from back in the day they would um photoshop the logo to look like it was coming from behind the hair so I took the drawing tool over on the side over here and make sure you click eraser and um, you know sized it up the way I want it to be and um, since my hair is not as doesn't have crisp lines I use the softness to um, kind of use like a gradient sort of eraser if that makes sense like um, I just I didn't want it to be a sharp line. I wanted to look like it was kind of feathered on top of the logo and it gave it like a more realistic like uh, magazine feel to me. So um, once I did that to my liking, I go ahead and I um, save the picture. So I'm going to hit the save button down below. And there are different options of ways to save, but I'm just going to hit download and it's going to save to your computer. And so that was how I did the Ebony cover. And um, I wanted to show you a couple of different ways you can do different photos. Um, the Essence 
cover that I did was a little bit different. So I'm just going to show y'all the way that I did that one. You know, I just added the picture like I did before and I'm going to crop it the same way I did before. The same pretty much basic steps I did before on the first picture. Once I have that where I want it, I'm going to apply it the, uh, to the picture and then I'm going to add the logo once again. But this time it will be the Essence logo. And I'm going to add that in there. And this one was too big, so you can size it up to make it however big you want it to be. Um, it was like clearly out of frame, so I had to like, you know, resize that all the way back down. And then I, you know, placed it where I wanted it to go once again, you know, fiddled around with the sizing once again. And because the lines of my hair was a little bit more crisp this time around, I decided to um, do more of a harsh edit. And so I'm going to hit the eraser up there. And I'm going to take the softness all the way down. Because I want a more crisp line this time. And so I just simply just click 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 over the parts that I want to disappear very simple very easy and I'm pretty much done with this cover now y'all can add you know more words to it to make it look more realistic you know how magazines look they have like um you know summer fashion and you know like they have the headlines that stick out to you um, I didn't necessarily want to go through all that. Uh, I was a little bit lazy with this, but you can also add your own words to it. There are ways to add words to the magazine cover as well on Pixlr. So yeah, you don't have to be lazy like me. You can add that. And so for this last picture, I was going to go ahead and do the Vogue since that's the whole what the whole challenge started off being. And um, I just want to show y'all that you don't always have to... Uh, Photoshop the words or the letters out of the picture because it doesn't always look better. Like for this particular photo, I was going to get rid of the letters as well like I did with other ones. But it didn't really make sense because the word Vogue doesn't even, you can't even tell that it says Vogue. So I thought that it would look better by just leaving it as is. So you can go back and you can hit undo. So as you can see, that's a very easy, simple free way to recreate your own magazine cover this was fun i enjoyed looking at all of the other magazine covers that i saw people create people are very creative and talented so i encourage you guys to click the hashtags and check them out as well i also want to send a special shout out to any and everybody that has supported my website louiderosastyle.com where you can find cute accessories like the ones I wear in my video. I really, really, truly appreciate all of the support that I got from people in the past couple of weeks. I have um, also supported many black owned businesses. We are uh, looking to support each other and create an ecosystem that we can support each other with and I encourage you all to do the same not just buy from my website obviously but to also um buy from other black owned businesses support them um promote them also I would love for everyone to leave some black owned businesses down in the comments let me know who I should purchase what from whether it's your mother's new business she's trying to start, your best friend, or whether it's your favorite big influencer, or there have been products that you've been using for years and years and years by Black-owned businesses. I want to hear them all. I would love to know who y'all purchased from because I feel like 
we should all be investing within the black community at this time. I just wanted to take out the time to thank everybody as well because the support really has been overwhelming. And if you order something from me, it will be out soon. And I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.